Turning Red, the brand new Pixar film, where once again Pixar are pissed at their bosses. Why? Because this is the third time. First time it was with Soul, then it was for Luca, and now it's Turning Red. And we're like, please for the love of God, please not Lightyear. Lightyear looks awesome, do not do this. And that is that, hey Pixar, we're going to give you a release date that's going to be just loosely in, in theatres for 45 days. And then we'll put it on Disney+. Plus. We'll do that, we'll do some marketing, we'll create some billboards, some posters, all that kind of stuff. Nah, we're fucking with you, we'll just put it straight onto Disney+. Plus. Making Pixar a on-demand service. One of the staples of their company, which is Pixar, as a straight to video VOD release. And even us fans are like, what the fuck? And also, what makes Pixar like the bully like you picking on? Why why are you chucking the the, the dodge balls at, at Pixar? Why not? You know, what what makes um uh, yeah, Disney animation special? Not what makes Marvel special? Well, Marvel's Marvel, no, so probably with the old Black Widow situation, <laughs> Bob Chapek. But you have learned about, yeah, you know, piss off Kevin Feige. <laughs> you just don't do that. That's just one of the things you just don't do. But, but you're like, why Pixar? Why are they the one getting the the Dodds balls, getting chuck out of that? But anyway, we got Terry Wed. You've seen the mo- I just saw the movie, and I will say this is, it's a movie that is on split of two halves for me. I mean, the story's about this girl named Manti, she's 13 years old, she lives in Toronto, Canada, she's the top of her class, she has a group of friends, and them are, her and her friends are very girly girly type group of people, you know, they're, you know, going, oh my god, over a cute guy, they go, oh my god, over a, um, you know, there's a boy band, because this is set in 2002, there's a boy band, 2002, very specific, um, coming to Toronto, and they really want to go, because they feel that, you know, if they don't go and see this band, they don't become women, like, listen, that, that is their motivation, is they won't become we won't become women if we don't go to this concert. The thing is, Mandy has a very um how'd say this? Helicopter parent of a mother. Uh you know, her mom is very detective, is very like, oh my god, you're five minutes late, oh my god, is everything okay? It's that situation where like her mom is very Detective and very like your your mummy's little girl kind of mindset of like she the mom only sees her as the child you know that not as this woman that not this person that who's going to become an adult who's going to become this woman and what happens after a very embarrassing situation which I went Jesus I went holy crap I don't believe we went this far. I can't believe we went went this far on a Pixar film. Pixar, you shocked me at what you guys talk about and what you wink wink reference. I am very surprised. And you know the thing I'm talking about when you see the movie. But after that situation, Mandy feels embarrassed, she feels shame, she feels all these having emotions, and the next day she turns into a giant panther. Like a big, puffy, fluffy panther. And what we find now is there's links to a uh, family Henrich that her, the females and the women of the family uh, do turn into panthers uh, during puberty. And every any time there's a sort of angst or nervousness or any sort of high level of emotion, which is for a teenager all the fucking time, that you will turn into a panther, but there's a chance to cure this in a month's time. Do not do anything. And that's most, and so it's kind of like a journey of, you know, maybe, you know, being a panther while, while waiting for the, the month to run out. And the thing about, as I said about this movie, is it really felt like, 
a movie of two halves really because what you have is in the first half like it felt so frantic in the first half of the movie it felt so frantic with stabbing the characters the panther the concept the the events that leads to Mandy turning into a panther is there and they're all good stuff but it felt so frantic and I wondering I wondered that the concept of it is that that because Mandy is 13 and she's going through all these emotions it does make you feel that the movie was trying to make us feel what Mandy's feeling with her being a teenager and having six billion emotions all going at once that they kind of want us to feel that kind of waffiness that a teenager feels definitely a 13 year old teenager but in reality what that kind of comes across as is a very like a collection of scenes that don't really mush well together it just felt like this happens and then this happens and this happens and then there's a little bit of a link line i mean there's great pixar moments out through the out through the, the that first half where finding out and Mandy finding out about the Panthers and her reactions and how at the end of the day she doesn't really care the how and the reason for it she just wants it to be gone and there's this whole very emotional part of it I really enjoyed that aspect of, towards the film that is heavily in the second half of the film but not as much as the first half the first half felt like a big Cleo like mushed together with all that emotional stuff I really dig as I said, with the second half, it's well done. It's basically everything that we want a Pixar film to be. I always say that Pixar is a studio that doesn't make kids movies or family movies. They make adult movies that kids can watch. And it in that third, in that second half side, they really hammer that home with yes, with the messaging to ham for the kids to understand that is, you know, the this whole thing about. You know, be yourself it is basically that be yourself find your true identity um there's gonna be a point in your life where you're going to be very attentive towards your parents but then you're going to find out that you're going to go against your family's will and it's okay that you're going to go that route and that and they do deal with stuff that i i think some people are going to be very shocked that they talk about or at least reference i mean one of them i'm like i understand it's like a holy shit they're talking about that but i don't understand why it's a big deal like there's a part where the family the mom and dad and the dad's probably the best character of this movie i love the dad because basically he wants to say something but his wife keeps like up oh, yeah nah, nah, no 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 you do not speak no i keep laughing it's like he's he's the dad who's like i just want my child to be happy can we be can she be happy no she cannot um but anyway um but there's a part where the mom and the dad thinks she's having her period um and there's this kind of like you know get this get that you know quickly get everything okay and it's, and you have the long speech of like hey this is the reason why it's happening you're growing up you're gonna becoming a woman um and that equals the second embarrassing moment it's in the trailer where like um where um the mom is like you forgot yo i forgot what it was i think it was tampons you forgot your tampons and then poof into a panther but they talk about period they talk about hey puberty what happens to to a, a girl during puberty she gets her period it's a very natural thing i get it people pu i think it's that classic thing of we don't talk about it much so it's like whoa but i'm like guys if we talk about guys having voice check you know their voice getting deep but we can talk about the thing that happens every month or was it every 25 days 24 days how many day, days it is or 28 days whatever it is we that women go through and i was very like I was like, not shocked or like, whoa, but I'm like, yeah. I, Pixar talks about very, like, this is the same studio back in 2004 that made a movie, a super movie, about a guy having a live by crisis. If they're able to do that, they're able to talk about puberty and periods, okay? They can do that. 
Um, by the end of the day, I found that the second half was really well done, really great Pixar stuff. I just felt the first half being a very mixed bag, a very jumble of a mess of a collection of scenes that really didn't gel well together. But, I mean, here's the thing. It's Pixar. People are going to watch it. It's a... And I think it's going to be a good move for families and all that. It's just the love of God. Please, Disney, do not just sweetly put Lightyear onto Disney+. Plus. It's fucking Pixar. They deserve to be on the big swing where they should be.